In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use OpenOffice to uh, perform a linear regression. OpenOffice is a free uh, spreadsheet, well actually a suite of uh, not just spreadsheets, uh, text documents, uh, etc. And uh, but we're going to focus on the uh, spreadsheet application. So I've pasted some data into this spreadsheet. These are actually the uh, heights and weights of the Toronto Maple Leaf players. Uh, in the 2008-2009, beginning of the 2008-2009 season. So let's start with drawing a scatter plot first. So I'm just going to highlight the data. And so once I've highlighted it, I will go to, and this is the chart symbol here. Now when you click on it, you'll get this bar graph. And that's not what we want. You actually get an option of, well, a column graph, a bar graph, pie graph. Uh, I want the uh, XY scatter plot. And so I'll click Next, and you'll see that the scatter plot has appeared here. Now, uh, I'm going to drag this to make it larger in a minute or two. Uh, there's so many points that they're kind of almost on top of one another. So that's an ind individual point. So is that one. And this is actually several points together. If you drag the chart to make it larger, you'll see the individual points start to appear. Now, I'm not going to just click on Finish. So I'm going to go uh, Next. And then uh, this is actually where the... Uh, uh, data comes from. Uh, next, and so under title, I'm going to put uh, height versus weight, Toronto Maple Leafs, fall 2008. Uh, subtitle, I could perhaps put my name. For the x-axis, um, notice in the uh, this column was the heights of all the players. And good thing to put the units, the heights in inches. On the uh, y-axis, is the uh, weights in pounds and I misspelled that and finish so so uh, again if you if you have a lot of points like I do here see if you drag this to make it larger you'll start to see the individual points uh, appear so that's as large as I'm going to make it now in order to do the linear regression, you have to have the actual chart that you're going to draw the line and find the equation highlighted. Now, if you click on, just click on it once, it's actually not highlighted because when I go to insert here, uh, I should get an option to perform a linear regression. So you actually have to double click on it. And so notice it has this gray border around it. Now when I go to insert, I have a trend line option. So if I click on trend lines, and I can, well, I can do none, like the graph is right now. I can choose linear, logarithmic, exponential, power. So I'm going to do linear. And I have to check off this to show the equation. And if I want the coefficient of determination, that's the R squared value. I'll check that one off as well. So click on OK. So here's my uh, function value. Uh, func f of x, which is the weight, uh, is 5.200, etc. Uh, x minus 177.77. And so that's the line of best fit for this data. And there's the R squared value. Notice that the data is actually pretty spread out. This isn't a really good fit because the data isn't following a nice tight line. Uh, and the, you can see that because the R squared value isn't very large. It's 0.465. It's, it's not very close to one at all. But the purpose of this video is to show uh, how to use uh, open office to create um, a linear to do a linear regression actually i'm just going to delete that it'll actually spread the uh, chart a little bit better so that's how you can use uh, open office to uh, perform a linear regression and that's the end of the video